like I'd physically have to like hold my neck and swallow because my whole body would like writhe in pain. Mr. Ray and see how he's doing. Good morning everybody, happy Sunday, Ray's home. We didn't film much yesterday because we were just busy getting Ray home and getting the kids sorted. Come here, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, I'm in your way again, I'm sorry. As I was saying, we got home and just concentrated on being home. <laughs> Um, Mum and Dad came over to bring April home and Fray's mate Chris came around for a little bit as well but it was pretty much just taking it easy for the rest of the night. Today will be another day of taking it easy, um, just sort of making sure that Ray feels okay. Um, it is daylight savings, end of daylight savings today so uh, normally it would be 8.30 right now but it's actually 7.30 which means April woke up an hour earlier than normal so it was a 5am start for us today and it's going to be a very 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 long day. Um, but other than that, we may try and get out this afternoon just to sort of entertain her for a bit, but we'll see. So, we've been out and now we're home. That was an experience that I didn't really talk about. Now April is making a break for it in the other room. What are you doing out here? Oh, you found your doggy. She usually has that in the car with her, but it's been inside. Are you happy now you got your doggy? Yeah. Basically what you've been doing? You want to sleep in his crib. Nice. It's half like an hour. Hmm. Oh, ta. Thank you. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, there you are. What have you got? No! <laughs> no, 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 no. Yucky, come on. Let's go. Wash your hands. It's Sunday night and we're actually ending the vlog on the day. Which we haven't done in like two weeks. <laughs> it's a new trend. So yeah, massive week in terms of this guy. Yep. Being sick. You want to go through it? Okay, so at the start of the week on Monday, I had tonsillitis. Well, by Tuesday, I went to the doctors and diagnosed as child tonsillitis. They gave me medicine, and then I went back the next day because I'm like, I'm feeling worse. Give me some more painkillers. They so gave me some stronger painkillers and some stuff to gargle, which helped helped a bit. 
But then a day later, and I still wasn't any better, the next morning I was like, I'm giving up. I can't swallow anymore. It hurts too much. Like I'd physically have to like hold my neck and swallow because my whole body would like writhe in pain. Yet by this time I'd been spitting into a bucket for about 24 hours. Stopped swallowing my saliva because it was just hurting too much. Went to the doctor's and he said to go to hospital. Wasn't too sure. Could be this, could be that. So I get to hospital to see some throat doctors and they were like, yep, but like an abscess in your tonsils that we need to cut and remove all the pus, all the stuff that's stuck inside there. And I was like, fantastic. Basically they numbed my my tonsils, like they gave me some painkillers. Guy had a scalpel, jammed it into my tonsil, made a little nick to cut it open. And then he had, he pulled that out and I was kind of gagging and spitting out of the crap. And then he had a salt syringe, jammed that into the hole, squirted it and pushed it in deeper to flush all the crap out. And it was, it did that about four times and it was absolutely horrendous. An hour after I felt amazing. Like I felt so much better. Even now I feel a lot better, but I'm still, I'm still sick. Yeah. I've still got another five days of uh, antibiotics to take to fight the infection and tonsillitis and that. So still gotta be careful and take it easy. So yeah, that's been a fun week. And some of everything we've been going through is just like, this didn't need that to happen. Mm -mm. It was stressful for me as well, just obviously not knowing what was happening with Ray um, until like late Friday, very late Friday. And then even then not knowing like exactly how long you'd be in hospital. I knew it was that night, but like it could have been a couple more nights. Yeah, like the doctors who did it said, oh, you might be out tomorrow. You should be right. But they said if the wound closes over, they have to reopen it, which luckily it hasn't closed over. I think it has now. Mm. I did do a zoom in shot if Lauren wanted to put that in there. Mm. If, you're, if you're squeamish, look away right now, but we'll show you what it looks like as of now. Ew. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> but the nurse is like, oh, you're going to be in a couple of days. I was like, what? Mm. That's crazy. But no, I felt so much better. Yeah. Like I went from like a 10 in pain, like horrific swallowing pain, to like three yeah. in the space of like four hours. A weird analogy, like a pimple, like a really sore pimple, you pop it and then you feel fine. Yeah, imagine it just be like pressure and pain and then all of a sudden it's like just that pressure is just relieved. I wouldn't be able to do it. Right where your gag reflex is. I don't understand how you went just like <laughs> the whole time. Well, the other thing I didn't mention is because... It was only one side of my face, which is the one tonsil, which was swollen. Because it was swollen mm -hmm. so much, my, you know, your little dangly thing, which is, I found it's called a uvula. uvula. <laughs> it was that long and that, that large that if I leant forward, it would dangle forward onto my tongue. So I was gagging a lot. Anytime I was in the house trying to spit or something, it would, yeah, do that. So. It's definitely one for medical mysteries or weird medical things. Yeah. I've had plenty. Anyway, it all worked out in the end and we're pretty much back to normal now. So we're gonna end the vlog. Question of the day, have you had any weird medical things happen to you? It's like, you don't know what it is and then it's happened to you and you're like, oh, I didn't know that could happen. The tonsil thing apparently happens a lot, but I've never heard of anyone having it. Never. I've had an uh, infected belly button. I've had shingles. You've had a collapsed lung. Collapsed lung. Weird medical things for me is I actually have two spleens. Yeah. Which I have to tell every doctor in every hospital I go to. Because if they do an ultrasound on me, that usually freaks them out a bit because they're like, what's going on inside you? <laughs> Alright, so let us know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Good morning, afternoon or night, whatever it is where you are. And we'll see you all in the next vlog. Vlog. Hopefully you're feeling a lot better. Bye. Bye. <laughs>